Hey everyone, so today I wanted to do a video talking about some things that I learned this past year. Hope you all had an amazing Christmas and New Year's, and let's go ahead and just get into it. So I definitely have had a year full of growth and a lot of like self-reflection and I wanted to share that because I think there have been certain times in my life where I kind of wish someone was there to tell me these things and I kind of feel like if I was able to hear them from someone else that I could really identify with, a girl around my age, someone that I thought I had something in common with, I just really think it could have helped me a lot when I was maybe having difficulty with any um, one of these topics. So maybe this can appeal to someone, I definitely hope it can. The first topic I want to talk a little bit about is money. This year definitely was a year where money for me became such a different topic. I um, have been fortunate enough to have you know very hardworking parents and I started working from a very young age and supporting myself as well. And for me, money was always something that was talked about, but was never like a huge discussion, I guess. And this year I really learned just that no amount of money is going to equal happiness. I know when I was younger and when I was making money and stuff, I was really excited about it. And I used to just go on these crazy shopping trips and buy all this stuff. And I constantly was getting packages to my house and constantly ordering stuff online and going to the mall and just always kind of searching for that next new thing and it used to bring me so much joy and happiness when I would have this you know expensive new makeup product or you know I would get to buy all these clothes or whatever it was and this year more than anything I've realized as cheesy as it is traveling is something that is huge for me I would much rather spend my money on experiences and memories made with other people than actually having like an item in my hands and I've also realized just no matter what money is not going to make you happy or fulfilled or you feel like you're I don't know doing well in life of course it's important to work hard and to you know to have money to live and be able to have a comfortable enjoyable life but really just realizing that no material item is going to improve your life in any way I mean it may make you a little bit excited that you got some new purse or something but that's really not what life is about and I definitely honestly will admit when I was younger I used to think oh you know when I'm an adult and I can buy all this fancy stuff and have all these things that's gonna be so exciting and fun and I think from going through that kind of at a young age, you know, just with making money and being able to buy myself stuff, I've realized that that's truly not what's important. And it honestly does feel so good to give back to people. That's something really big for me this year. And it's crazy because I know you've probably heard your parents say, being charitable and doing that kind of stuff makes you feel good, but it does. Like there's no better feeling than buying someone else something and kind of seeing the look on their face when they open it and seeing the joy that they have, just knowing, you know, you put time and effort into it. It. So yeah, that's kind of my reflection on money for the year. On that same account business, I definitely have been taking my channel in a different kind of route, I think, which I've really been liking. I've just been getting really raw and authentic with you guys, which I've always been, and I've struggled throughout my YouTube career with kind of keeping that up because I have seen so many of my peers drastically change themselves to kind of fit the mold of what's popular on YouTube. There are people I know personally that I know the way they act in their videos is not the way that they are. And you know, it's not to out them or like talk any trash on them or anything, but for me that was just never an option and I knew it definitely was a disconnect where certain videos, you know, acting a lot younger than you are, acting really silly and energetic was really what was getting a ton of views and a ton of, yes, just popularity. And for me, I was just never going to conform to something that I wasn't in order to kind of have people watch me I guess if that makes sense. I truly only want people watching me that enjoy me for the person that I am. I know I may not appeal to everyone. I know that I may be you know just a little less crazy and energetic and bubbly but I'm myself so for me that was kind of the biggest thing in terms of YouTube and I've actually become very comfortable with it this year. A little while ago I used to feel very overwhelmed and just scared you know just realizing that people were kind of fake and realizing that a lot of people didn't see anything wrong with totally changing who they were in order to, you know, make money or get subscribers or be popular or famous or whatever they want to say. That was something for me that was really difficult to wrap my head around because I was like, how 
are these people okay with this? Like, I could never do that. But this year, I really decided that it doesn't matter what other people do. That's not my business. Their journey is not my journey, and I don't know what goes on with them. You know, I can only wish people well and hope that they don't do anything to harm other people or they don't spread messages that I think are hurtful or harmful in any way. But other than that, I can't do anything about the way other people want to live. And you know, realizing that and accepting it has made me so much happier and just so much less stress in that whole realm. Um, also with starting my own company, Loved You Yesterday, which is just a really fun way for me to be creative and do something artistic. I realized that that's something I need. I'm a very multifaceted person. I'm only happy when I'm working on a bunch of different things. I know there are some people that have like one passion in life and one real thing they focus on and that's amazing and great and honestly that's probably easier in some regards because I do get a little overwhelmed just with a bunch of different projects and procrastinating and time management but for me I've realized that's when I'm truly the most fulfilled and the most happy is when I have multiple things to work on so being able to do you know the vintage denim and the cow schools and just I don't know put my effort and my love and my artistic abilities into this stuff is just really fun for me and there will definitely be some more announcements coming with my stuff soon so definitely stay tuned for that segueing away from business and money into something much more important, love. Love this year, you know, not only with my family members, but also romantically, it was something that I had so much growth with. And I honestly can say my outlook now is just so positive. And I'm really happy about that because the past few years, and I think just maturing and growing up and having, you know, some adult relationships, I kind of went through some different things and I think I became a little bit jaded and a little bit just maybe bitter I guess about love and just about you know that feeling and finding someone that is all the things that you hope they are and I've really realized that for me I'm someone that I have to give love and I have to really just know that when I'm doing that, I am ultimately making someone feel good. And that may sound kind of weird, but I used to struggle with wanting to be that open and that vulnerable to someone else, you know, maybe to not have it be reciprocated or a lot of girls try to play hard to get. And, you know, that does work, unfortunately. I There are so many guys that I, they'll do something bad and I'll just kind of write them out of my life. And then that's the thing that like makes them come back. And it's just, for me, I've grown past that. Like I'm too old for that. I'm not interested anymore. And and I don't really put up with those games anymore. I also have learned to really just trust myself. If something feels wrong or not right, I trust that. And I don't, you know, try to overthink and, you know, freak myself out about things. Um, but ultimately, I just try to be loving and caring and be someone that I would want to be with. And I also know in my heart that if that doesn't work out or for whatever reason that person doesn't want that love or accept it, then I move forward and I don't dwell on things. I don't, you know, overanalyze situations and get all upset about it because I just know that ultimately doing that, you're going to find the right person. And I've definitely have met some really amazing people. So everything in the love department is very good. But I think the biggest lesson I learned is just be loving because that's that's the best thing you can do and you will never regret being kind and loving and accepting to someone you never will you will regret being mean to them and snapping at them and you know getting revenge or even holding in your feelings and not telling someone how you feel um, for the fear of whatever it may be but you will never regret just being truly loving and that's probably my biggest lesson on love as far as sex and relationships, I've always been a very selective person, but definitely within this year, I've really just began to look at, you know, sex and hookups and everything in a very different light and just even more in a special light. I have a lot of friends that will go out on the weekends and they'll just hook up with a guy and they'll act like it's fine and it's fun and they're cool with it, just being casual and nothing more. And for a while, I wondered, like, why do I not want that? Like, why am I not comfortable with the idea of just being with someone so casually, you know, so meaninglessly? Like, why do I not have that? You know, am I doing something wrong? Is something wrong with me that, you know, I'm in my early 20s and that's not what I want? And I realized this year that it's not, there's nothing wrong with wanting sex to be with love like there isn't anything wrong with that now you have to understand that just because you have sex with someone doesn't mean they're going to be in love with you doesn't mean they're going to fall in love with you want to stay with you anything but it's not wrong of you to not enjoy casual hookups and meaningless stuff that's 
perfectly okay and I think for every person honestly what you have to realize with sex is your personal preferences obviously you know way far into it you gotta know what you like and all that kind of stuff blah blah, blah. but on a bigger note you have to know if you are truly comfortable with you know the hookup culture that unfortunately is a lot of our dating nowadays and if you aren't then just you know own that and don't ever feel like you And ultimately, I think once you create boundaries and you also just understand, you know, what sex does to relationships and what, you know, those feelings can cause within you, you can just have a much better outlook on it. And I don't ever want any girl that I care about to be hurt or upset over a guy because, you know, they did something physical and then it didn't work out. I just want everyone to know, and guys as well, you know, people just need to know, I guess, the repercussions of their actions and just know that, like, if you aren't comfortable with that it's okay and you don't have to do it and you don't have to feel like you're missing out on being young and crazy just because you don't want to hook up with guys randomly and stuff and I've also learned that being the type of girl that isn't you know open to that or if it's not what you want it doesn't mean that you're gonna scare every guy off I have met some really amazing guys and I think the reason that I've clicked with them and it's worked is because I've expressed to them that like I'm interested in like deeper connection I want to really get to know someone I want to truly understand them as a person and get to know them you know much deeper and that of course you know sex and hookups and that kind of thing are amazing for relationships but it's not the only point of a relationship and for me kind of just understanding what my personal views on that have helped me so much and I really encourage you guys to all just think about that as well and just be mindful because ultimately you want to take care of yourself and you want to make sure that you're making decisions that make you feel good at the end of the day that's the biggest thing so you know while if casual hookups do make you feel good and make you feel empowered that's amazing no judgment go for it but if they don't don't feel like you need to be doing that to be young or be you know you know you need to not act clingy or like you want a relationship because I don't think there's anything wrong with wanting that and once you kind of realize and accept that I think you can just make decisions that are going to work out much better for you. Another topic I want to touch on are friendships. Definitely this year I've had a really transformative year of just realizing, you know, what it means to be a good friend, what it takes to be a good friend, and also having, you know, good friends in those relationships. And I realized that I've had a lot of friends that I've had since I was very young that I've had all throughout my life. And now that I'm an adult, our friendships have changed and morphed and become, you know, different scenarios. But there are so many people that I still hold so dearly to me and that have you know stuck with me through so many times in my life and that's really amazing and I've also met a lot of people so not only do I have people that are old friends that I've had for years and years and years have seen me through all stages of my life and it's really kind of mind-blowing to think about that to think someone has grown up with you like it's really cool and like kind of different because I think you know while of course we're growing up and aging and stuff I think maybe we don't recognize it as much as you realize it about someone else I know that I have certain friends that I'll look back on I'll be like do you remember when we did this do you remember when you thought this do you remember that and it's just really cool to kind of recognize those friendships that you've been able to keep for many many years and kind of look into that and see you know why they work and why they have been able to kind of move through the phases of your life and remain strong. And I've also had circumstances where I've met new people and we've just instantly clicked. And for me, that's a huge thing and it's so cool when that happens. It is a little bit rare, but I've had it happen a lot this year. And I don't know if it's because I've been really open to people. You know, I've really been being very authentically myself. I, you know, am the way that I am and I don't try to hide that. And I hope people like me, of course, but you can't always win. People are not always going to like you, but being the most true version of yourself is going to attract people into your life that you're going to click with, that you're going to love, and that ultimately you're going to have a lot of fun with and just really great connection with. And being able to be comfortable with yourself and do that, I promise, is so worth it because that is what's going to bring amazing people into your life. I've also, you know, dealt with some fake friends this year and just kind of the releasing of relationships, the releasing of, you know, hurt feelings or misunderstandings. You know, I've had people walk out of my life that I 
I thought would be in my life for forever. I've had people, you know, betray me in different ways. And I've also had people just slowly fall out of my life. You know, maybe something big didn't happen, but they definitely didn't make the effort to be there for me. And I've realized that I surround myself with people that are very, you know, successful, driven, motivated people because that's who I need to be around. If I'm around those people, that pushes me to want to be a better version of myself. It makes me want to not give up and to keep trying. And with that comes busy schedules. I am often very busy. I'm often out of town and as are my friends as well. And it's very interesting to see the ones that put in that effort and work to make a friendship work because ultimately it takes two people and it takes two people trying to be able to create that and keep it going. And lastly, I want to touch a bit on loss and just dealing with things, you know, ending or changing or becoming different. You know, this year has been a lot of changes and it's been difficult and it's been kind of, I don't know, I think ultimately what it has done for me is so much greater than I even know really. I feel like the strongest version of myself right now than I have ever felt and I hope that that's something that with age will just keep growing and I hope at the end of every year I feel like this even more so and I feel just more in tune with myself and my emotions and just ready to take on life with the new knowledge that I've gained and I think I'm really happy with my life now and more than anything I just want to share my experiences with you guys and share you know the lessons the stories the good the bad the crazy things that have gone on and try to talk through them because when I do that it just gives me such fulfillment and joy to just have you guys comment to me or send me a message and say I've been watching you for this many years you know I think we're so similar I really agree with so many things that you say or hey you know I'm dealing with the same thing or hey like this happened to me too that is just so powerful to me and I think you guys probably don't even realize it but I never want you to forget it and I just want this year to be amazing for everyone I think we all deserve it and we can all work towards it um, you know being able to be self-aware and realize things about yourself and ultimately just never stop bettering yourself just keep doing it that's the most important thing that you can do and that really is what you should be focused on in all aspects you know physically mentally every single thing that you do you should just strive to be better a kinder more understanding thoughtful person and I think you'll realize that once you do focus on those things your life just starts to fall into place and things make sense and things become really great for you and that's just something that you deserve so thank you guys so much for watching this I will talk to you very soon I love you and I'll see you later bye